Today I'm going to tell you how to avoid a stinky mess. And the stinky mess I'm talking about is a plugged sewer tank on your RV. It is something you don't want to deal with. First of all, if your tank plugs, good luck finding a repair place that will take care of it. And if you do find one, they're going to charge you a lot of money. Here's what we're talking about. This is your, your tank on a, this is what it looks like, your valve on your, um, we all know these. When you dump your tanks, you pull this out and all the stuff comes out of here. Well, what can happen is gunky stuff can, can get in here. And one day you go to pull your, you go to, to empty your tank, you pull this out and it, and it just, it's, it sticks. So you pull it and the actual handle right here comes off, it comes off. And then you're stuck with this thing closed up and all your stuff's inside and what are you going to do? Obviously, the, the best thing you can do to avoid this problem is have plenty of water in your sewer tank at all times. Never let it go down to practically nothing or nothing. If you do that, and like if you keep your black tank open at an RV park, you're going to get poop mountain. Isn't that a wonderful image? But that's what happens and that's going to clog your tank so fast. But what's happening nowadays is that people are using these flushable, flushable toilet wipes. It's really, it's really popular. And municipal sewer systems around the countries are having problems with it. It's cost them a lot of monies to deal with this stuff because it doesn't break down. And imagine what it does is an, in an RV park sewer system. It's cost in RV parks a lot of money. They're passing that on to us. And it will also plug up your RV. These things say right on them, they say flushable. Well, they're not flushable. If you read the small print on the back of this, it is, I mean, you can't read it. You can't, it, it's so, but it says in there, it says may not be suitable for all systems and it specifies RV systems. And then it says, also says when you do use them, and I suppose this is for a municipal system, only use one per flush, which is kind of limiting, you know? So here's the deal. Only use white toilet paper in your RV, but keep lots of water in your tank, only white toilet paper, no flushable things, even though they say flushable right on the front. And um, that will go a long ways to keeping you from having problems because these are not problems that you want to deal with and they're not the kind of problems that an RV repair place wants to deal with because who wants to deal with all that? You know what? <laughs>